In this video, we'll see how to create different button styles on the message box. This is a continuation video of the previous one for the message box. We'll try to create different button styles on the message box. Let us see how do we create that. Now, very first thing is I'll go to this developer tab, click on this visual basic. Now I have created a module named as B underscore message box two. And here I'll type a macro here. First, I'll create a sub procedure. Please observe sub procedure message box two. That's it. Now I'll show you how to create a button styles. First thing is I'll type message box and I'll type here as welcome comma. Now, as soon as I type comma, if you observe here, I'm getting different options available. So let us see what are different options. First, I'll not use this option. I'll show you a simple method. I'll type here as one. And again, I'll just copy this. Control C, Control V. I'll type here as two. Yeah. So what I'm trying to do is I'm just copy paste same thing. And instead of this number one, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to insert different numbers. I'll try, I'll t help you with that. What is the different numbers here? In the previous video, if you remember, we have only written message box welcome, but I'm trying to do different combinations with this numbers one, two, eight. So I'll just keep my cursor. Let's see practically what happens. Click on this step into step into and again click on step into. So if you observe the first sentence message box welcome comma one, one stands for OK cancel. These are different button styles. OK, second stands for I'll click on step into second stands for about retry cancel. Third stands for number three, three number button styles stands for yes, no and cancel. Four button style yes, no. Five stands for retry cancel. Six stands for OK. 7 stands for OK, 8 stands for 8 stands for OK. So if you observe from number 1 to number 6, they are different numbers, different button styles. But from 7th, 8th, 9th and so on, all the numbers will give you the same button that is OK button itself. But observe this numbers will be difficult for me to remember. Suppose if I ask you yes, no, cancel, can you tell me the number? It would be difficult for you to tell it, right? So there's a shortcut method. There's a shortcut method. Do not remember the numbers directly type the button style. So first thing is I'll just comment this and I'll go to this edit select as comment block. Now let us see how do we write this button styles. Yeah. MSG BUX instead of that I'll type here as okay. I've written as message box welcome and as soon as I type here comma observe what will happen is I'll get list of different button styles which will help me which will ask me which one do you want. So if I say I want VB OK cancel OK VB OK cancel selected that press tab key from a keyboard press tab key from a keyboard and press enter. So this sentence will give you a VB button that is OK and cancel. If you want to see practically keep your cursor click on this run button and if you see you are getting as OK cancel button. Let us try one more. Let us try one more here and uh, why not I'll just copy. I don't have to type again. I'll just copy this press comma and now I want about retry cancel. So I'll search for that button about retry cancel. Yeah, let's say I want retry cancel and I'll press tab. OK, enter. Now if I keep my cursor here, if I say step into step into the first one will give me OK cancel and the second one should give me as retry cancel button. So if you observe retry cancel button is visible, right? So this is an easy method for which you can get different button styles. The first parameter is the body text. Second parameter is for the button style. Either you write the numbers from one to six or you can write as VB OK only OK cancel and about retry cancel and so on. So different types of button style will be visible on the message box. I hope you have understood. That's all for this video.